All right, so this experiment is called the spinning disc illusion. And what you will need for this experiment is a glue stick, some string, some scissors, and the template printed out on a thick sheet of paper. Uh, the thicker the paper is, the better it will work, and you're going to need a whole bunch of it. So, basically, step one is to download that template. It's given in the manual. Uh, then print it, print it out on the thicker sheet of paper, like cardstock or something, or attach a piece of like an index card in between the papers before you cut them. Then you're going to cut them out in this circular way, and paste them together back to back. So the top of this picture, if you flip it, it's gonna... It, it, one of the pictures is supposed to be right side up, and then when you flip it like this, this one's upside down. So that's how it's supposed to be. Then, you're going to punch holes on the left and right side of this, and and tie the string through the holes. So you can see here, I've already done that off screen, off camera, because it took a while. And then, see the execution of this experiment. So you're gonna wanna take your right hand and wind this up. You're gonna, you're gonna wind this up for a bit, and the, the more you wind it up, the faster it'll spin, and the better the illusion is, and then you let it rip. And you can kind of see what I'm going for. And what's happening here is that uh, while we can see when it's at a standstill that these are two separate images, once they're rapidly flashing between each other, your brain starts seeing them as a blurry image of one thing rather than two separate things. It's a technique used in old animation, and it's pretty cool to see.